The second control of the operational procedures and responsibilities is called change management. This is an essential control, and is normally treated as a process on its own. Any change to the information processing, systems, and business, affecting information security should be managed. Changes could be controlled or uncontrolled. Controlled changes are changes that have been planned for, and that are believed to be beneficial to the organization, such as introducing a new technology. Uncontrolled changes are changes that the organization can't control, but have to deal with, such as the change in the threat environment affecting the security. To be able to identify a change, a baseline should be documented, so that the impact of the change could be properly measured and assessed. Changes should be tested in a test environment when possible, and only applied to operations when successful. Changes should be approved by the appropriate management, and the effects should be properly assessed from all aspects. For example, shutting a system down for maintenance could have a significant effect on the business, if it operates 24-7. In such cases, business approval should be sought as well. Emergency plans and fallback procedures should be in place, to ensure that if anything goes wrong or unexpected, undoing a change would be possible with minimal effect on the working environment. All changes and related procedures should be recorded and audited.